This is Dave Kirk with Visit Owensboro, and I'm with Tim Ross, the public events director for the city of Owensboro. It feels like winter, I it tell is, you what. It is. Winter's finally here. That's right. Um, we've got a brand new activity planned. I know your team, you've all been working. Heck, you can see guys right now working on it. A brand new event to really bring people downtown during this holiday season. What's it called? Yeah, 12 Days of Christmas. And why is it called 12 Days of Christmas? Where did we get that from? Well, so what we decided was the riverfront needed some more energy during the holiday season. There's a lot of things that already happened anyway, but there was not a kind of a coordinated effort to say what's going on. So from Thanksgiving through up to Christmas, four weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is 12 days. We decided to name it the 12 Days of Christmas, and there's already a lot of stuff going on. We're just trying to let everybody know what that is and add a few key pieces. Now that's more than 12 days, so you just mean Friday, Saturday, Sunday of those those four weekends, right? That's right. Okay. Yep. And so let's just kind of, we won't go day by day, but we'll just kind of preview some of the bigger events. Of course, Thanksgiving weekend, all your family's in, you have people visiting, and boom, you, you debut the Energy on Ice. That's right. Energy on Ice starts, it's the Friday after Thanksgiving, and we talked about it last year. We couldn't do it because of COVID, right. but we're back to kind of launch that this year. So down at the Convention Center on the Kentucky Legend Pier, Friday night's the first time. Get out there and enjoy ice skating. There's space heaters, there's lights, there's Christmas music, and enjoy the atmosphere for something different. Outdoor ice skating for the holidays. And so every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for the whole, all the way through the New Year's Eve, they'll be doing energy on ice. So that's something that's going on the entire 12 days. Every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's right. Uh, and then some of the other big things that you're highlighting, of course, the Chamber, they have their shop, Owens for All Things. So again, that Saturday after Thanksgiving, that's right. a great day to get out. I know the Convention Center is kind of home base for that. They can go get their Independence Bank bags, they can go shopping. Right. Uh, and then the next week, Weekend. This big thing behind us, I guess, is going to be lit up, right? It is, yeah. So that first one, the first Saturday in December, we typically have the holiday stroll that people are familiar with. And so a lot of the downtown shops have doing some special Christmas events. And then that evening, Saturday, the 4th at 5 o'clock, we'll light the tree. And then we've got something new this year called Dancing Lights. And so this whole space around the fountains and the concession stand will all be choreographed to music starting at 5 o'clock. Every 15 minutes, one of your favorite Christmas songs comes on, and then all the lights here, along with the bridge lights, will all be choreographed to a song. And so every 15 minutes will be a different song, and every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock, you can come down. So either dancing lights before and after a show, after dinner, or you can head on down and enjoy energy on ice. Explain to me these dancing lights, though. I don't understand. Like, what, what exactly am I going to see when I walk from essentially the uh, concession stand down here in Smothers Park through the fountains? What am I going to see? What's it going to look like? familiar. I mean, so many people do light things now, and we haven't really done a whole lot downtown. So we put in, I don't know, it's uh, almost 100,000 lights between. And probably it's more like 150,000 lights between the tree and all the, not all of them, the majority of the trees you see around us, there's just all different kinds of lights in the space. So whether it's your favorite pentatonic song or your trans Siberian Orchestra song, the favorites that everybody knows. And so you just finished dinner at Mellow Mushroom with your family stroll on down this way and every 15 minutes a different song is going to come on the PA that you'll hear and they'll dance to a show for during the length of that song and there's lots of different things that you can do in downtown but it's just something to add to go see before or after something else you're doing and then you know there's other things that are going on the bluegrass hall has got a great Christian artist in I know the River Park Center of course has got the Nutcracker uh, the Holiday Inn I've heard is going to have an igloo they're yeah. going to have an igloo behind their yep. building so they kind of doing a Friday after five and right. they're going to have music so you have all these things going on all these weekends and then of course you're bringing back the hot chocolate hop. We are. So the very next weekend, Friday, December the 10th, is the hot chocolate hop. I think there's 12 or 13 different places downtown that have got specialty hot chocolate drinks that night. So again, come enjoy some dinner and enjoy several different specialty hot chocolate drinks. And then the next weekend, we're doing something called Santa Sweets. A lot of the different places have signature desserts. Everybody loves that around the holidays. So there's a big schedule. Everything's listed on our website, owensboro.org slash Christmas. Um, is where you can get that whole schedule and links to all the different individual ones, whether or not, like you said, a show or whether or not it's something happening here in the park. And then, of course, there's the scavenger hunt that you guys do every year. That's right, yeah. The very last one, we're kind of wrapping it all up with the 12-day scavenger hunt. So all around between 2nd Street and the river for about four blocks, there'll be decals that show each of the 12 days of Christmas. And so if you can find all of those, you'll be entered and submitted on social media. Prize packages from some great things, whether events to go to or parts for downtown restaurants, things like that. And then one more thing I know that our office is going to do is we have a, a Santa's list. It's kind of like a passport that a lot of these places that are participating in these events are going to have stamps. So we're going to right. stamp those up and, right. and we'll be drawing uh, for a prize both for an in-town person. So for an in-town person, we'll have more details on this soon. We'll have a whole video dedicated to this. Six days or two weekends, you come down here, you get your passport stamped, you'll be entered to win a prize. 
for those coming from out of town, because we really think that this is going to draw some people from out of town. I mean, it's going to be a spectacle. That's our hope. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll also have a passport for those guys and gals that will uh, get your uh, passport stamped at a hotel, come to one weekend of events, and, uh, you know, it just seems like we needed this, this 12 days. You know, we didn't get, to, we still with COVID and all that, didn't get to have a lot of it last year, and this is just something people are really looking forward to. Yeah, everybody loves the holiday and the Christmas parade. We, we found that out, so we're going to do a Christmas parade on, that's December 18th. Yeah, okay. So that'll be right before all of these activities start up when it gets dark. So there's so many things going on. Everybody loves the holidays, and we wanted to start to re-energize the riverfront for that. And this is kind of the first step in that in years to come to have some lot of activity for weeks leading up to Christmas. Well, there's so many elements to it. I mean, a family could come down, uh, a couple could come down on a date, friends could come down, sure. old, young. I mean, there really is something going on for every uh, young and hard person for these 12 days of Christmas. Yeah, very much so. And, and it doesn't matter if you want to, like you said, if you want to go skate. And you're able to do that or if you just want to drive up and sit in your car and watch the lights for a few minutes you can do that too so um, the idea is that when you go to nutcracker the river park center either before or after that again hit the restaurant stroll through yeah, extend stroll, the stay stroll Spend through the town watch here. the lights yeah. to kind of get the move before you hit the nutcracker same thing here at bluegrass museum so there's numerous different activities for a long time care net has their 5k reindeer run that they do um, we're doing a family photo night right here behind us yep. um, to kick that thing off wonder boy media is a part of that with us and so they'll have professional photos that you can get with your family. Well, how much does that cost? Uh, zero dollars. Zero? You can have your own Christmas photo. Repeat that one more time. Yes. That's the day yeah. people are learning. Exactly. Out. That's free. So that's uh, the first one. Again, look at the website for that information. But right here on the riverfront, so you'll get there. They'll have all the lighting. And you'll be able to stand and, and pose for your family pictures with the bridge lit up with Christmas lights. Or they've got another one. They're going to green screen and, and put you in a, a snow globe. It'll be pretty fun. Uh, photo, just you know, QR code, and they'll send it to you digitally. So lots of things going on. Well, I mean, normally December is a slower time of the year, but not no one's pro. We're we're speeding it up this year and uh, offering plenty of things. So make sure you get down here. Twelve days of Christmas. You can come every night. You can come one night, multiple nights, whatever your fancy is. There'll be stuff going on here in Smothers Park. You've got stuff at the hotels, the River Park, the Bluegrass Hall, the restaurants, the Convention Center. Right. There's just so much going on for the twelve days of Christmas. So invite your friends and family. Come on down. And if you want more information, you can go to owensboro.org slash christmas all right for tim ross of the city of owensboro i'm dave Pert with visit owensboro we hope you have a fantastic holiday season and we can't wait to see you at the 12 days of christmas